The East Bay Bike Path offers a spectacular New England experience. It was inducted into the Rail Trail Hall of Fame in 2009, and the route is one of the most popular multi-use trails in Rhode Island. The paved pathway travels just over 14 miles between Providence and Bristol, visiting eight parks and weaving in and out of neighborhoods as it skirts the waterfront. We started our ride in Bold Point Park, the first parking area we saw on the map. So we're on the East Bay bike path in Providence, Rhode Island. Providence, Rhode Island. <laughs> and it's a Hall of Fame trail, so we figured we had to come over here and get this done because our goal is to try, my goal at least, is to try to get all the Hall of Fame trails done. But since they had a new one every year, that well, keeps the challenge going. Yeah, it keeps us busy. But it's 13 miles, and we're hoping by the time we get to the other end, we'll find a really cool place to have, have, lobster. have more lobster rolls. <laughs> yeah. It's really interesting that the old train track is. Um, pretty much still intact along most of this route so far. The East Bay Bike Path, one of the longest trails in Rhode Island, will eventually connect to the Blackstone River Greenway, which extends into Massachusetts. The bike path is also a part of the East Coast Greenway, which is a growing trail network between Maine and Florida. Well, I tried to ride this bike trail several years ago and unfortunately I got something that um, on occasion erupts in my ankle and I was under undergoing one of those episodes I couldn't go two feet on my bike. So I'm glad we're back at it today. So what's up with you? Not much. I'm just going along leisurely looking at the sights. Yeah, yeah. You're trying to figure out how fast you can get to the yeah. beer. Well, we tried. Yeah, there you go. We, we almost got killed at one of the, or didn't almost get killed, but we found the yielding to pedestrians wasn't always true. And a guy, we were waiting for him just in case, and he just went blowing through the intersection. The rail trail follows a rail bed whose various owners helped shape East Coast railroads for over a century. The Providence, Warren, and Bristol Railroad completed the line in 1855. The old Colony Railroad leased it beginning in 1891, but it soon came under the control of the New York, New Haven, and Hartford Railroad. Penn Central acquired the New Haven in 1969 and discontinued the line in 1973. The state built most of the bike trail between 1987 and 1982.
If you have a few minutes, take the time to walk the nature trails of the Audubon Society. You can't miss it. It is right in the middle of the bike path. Okay, so here we are at the beach, getting ready to have our lunch, and maybe you can remind me to take videos of the food, because it still looks like pretty good food. We've got a perfect front row parking space, and a beautiful behind us view, and we're ready for some refreshments. It was a beautiful, it was a nice trail, there was a lot of road crossings. But they weren't annoying. Well, she's she's on 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 for the most part, they road. they lead the right away to the bikers and or um, hikers. So it's you just got to be cautious to make sure all the people stop. Time to drink. I'm having a Dell lemonade cucumber spritz, and you're having some local beer, Rhode yeah. Island Chair Two Light Lager, I think. Yes, that is what it is. And it's did you pretty drink good it yet? too. Yeah, yes. you know, I've tried some, and it's very good. Ooh, look at the clams in that bad boy. Yum, yum, yum. What were you doing? I was trying to snag a piece yesterday. I okay, just suffered this. no lobster. Here, what's this one? No, hey, no. Oh, no, you don't grab a piece, you grab a bite. Well, okay. So, <laughs> you got a lobster roll. You're not getting half. Lobster no, I don't want half. roll and a tuna. Burrito. Yeah, tuna burrito. Huh. Yeah, Alright, so it's well, an ahi tuna burrito. Alright, taste yours and let's see. It's crazy oh, it's good. It's heavy. <laughs> So you're gonna well, this has turned out to be a little bit more interesting ride than we'd planned because of Randy's flat tire. And of course we aren't prepared because we've always been lucky, I guess, because nothing's ever happened to us on the trail till now. So he just jumped in a pickup truck with a random guy that we don't know, who's gonna give him a ride up to where our car is four miles away. And hopefully he'll come back after me in the next 10 or 15 minutes. Otherwise, I think I'm in trouble. <laughs> or he's in trouble, or we're both in trouble. So. I guess it's a little more adventure than I'd planned today. We did have some lovely people try to help us. He had a tire pump that I guess doesn't work for our tires. So one note is um, travel with at least a tire pump that works for your bike or the CO2 thing or better yet, I guess there's some stuff you can put in your tires that helps make it puncture resistant. I don't know, but we probably need to look into this. We just loaded the bikes up and didn't quite finish our ride, but another experience.